Alright guys, so we're back today. We're gonna go bug hunting and uh, hopefully maybe even find some pretty cool things. Uh, I'm trying to be I'm trying to be neutral or positive or you know I don't I'm not believe it or not I'm really not trying to be super negative. I'm just trying to be uh, realistic and be honest about what I see. So we're gonna try Martinsville. And we're going to go to the track and see what we can do. See what we can find. All right, we're going to skip. And there's always... Oh, no, wait. This time it started out in the right camera. All right, so... In second gear. Why is it... waiting to start. This is something I also find very inconsistent. Sometimes you start in, in you start in different gears at different tracks. Oh now it's in fourth. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. No practice. I'm just jumping in. I gotta take it easy. I don't want to overdrive it. I just want to see what it's like at a short track. I know a lot of you guys are probably probably think I only care about mile and a half tracks. That's not true. Okay, so one thing. Oh, got some. Uh, oh, yeah, you cannot overdrive this car. Um, that's for sure. Yeah, so I I got a bit of. Oh, there goes that fucking camera shake. Just scrub the wall a little bit and, and it just goes crazy. <clears throat> As I was saying, I got a bit of uh, nice feedback when I went over that, uh, I guess that turtle in the corner. It is a very high turtle. Man. Uh, I do not like the steering ratio. I would, I always prefer the ratio to be a lot tighter where you just, you don't have to move the wheel that much to get it to turn I really gotta go about 90 degrees to get it to turn and I don't I'm not a fan of that I I, I like a tight steering ratio where it doesn't take a lot of wheel input to get the steering to respond that's not a, a bug or a glitch or anything like that it's just a setting and unfortunately we can't go in and, and like make those adjustments you're kind of got what you got so we really do need to get all that stuff straightened out yeah I'm really this is not good just I gotta catch a rhythm and like I said I, I don't like having to crank the wheel as much as I am oh yeah it's not easy to drive and I appreciate that I actually kind of like that we're not going to get a caution. One left. All clear. Got one left. <laughs> clear, clear. Uh, got to play with the paddles a bit to get it into reverse. That's also something that's in, not working properly. But at least I got it in reverse this time. Yeah, this steering is all jacked up. Yeah, that, the car's junk. Car right. All clear. So I don't think I need to repeat again and again that this uh, AI is, you know, really bad. Like, they just don't stop. There's no caution. They'll just cream you and they'll keep going. Yeah, I shouldn't even, shouldn't even bother with this. There is something I wanted to show you guys. I, I found, well, I didn't find it. Uh, other people have already discovered. There are ways to drive around the uh, garage area I did it by mistake before I started uh, recording I tried to uh, check a few things out and I don't know what happened uh, I slid into 
I don't know. It's not this turn. I think it's the next turn. And there, you can just go right into the pits. I'm going to try to do it now. Not the pits. The, uh... I forgot. You have no control here. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's a shame. This, this really looks good, man. The, the lighting. You can see all the pit signs. Uh, I am a bit disappointed that when you pit, I, I was hoping you could see, you know, action around all the pits. It just seems like a, a very strict cutscene when you pit. So, okay. It's making a... Is it here? Yeah. I just want to show you guys really quick. Yeah, you can drive around. You can kind of drive around the garage area. Now, it's... There's no, there's nothing going on back here, <clears throat> but I love things like this. I, it, what it looks like to me is that at some point they were designing the, the game to be able to have you, you know, drive in and off the track and into the garage area. It's obvious that it's totally possible to do it. So... If you're looking for silver linings, like for the future, that is definitely one of them. Like, I'm going to end up pausing it right here. Alright, that's enough of that. We're going to get out of here. Um, I can't navigate my way around this track because of the steering is, the, the steering ratio is not to my liking. And it's just something that we have to have the option to adjust. And so it's it's not a bug. But, yeah, not being able to have any control over any of those uh, gameplay mechanics and those settings is a problem. You just got kind of, you got what you got. And you if, you're, if you don't like the steering ratio, you got to live with it. Um, yeah, so... It's also kind of really uncomfortable for me because I got the controller, I got a mouse. The hand controller is just resting on my lap because I can't put it down anywhere. You really have to see my setup. I, I, I might, if you're interested, I'll do a quick video showing you my, my gaming setup and you guys could see for yourself. But uh, I can't place the controller anywhere other than throw it on the floor and it's kind of... Yeah, it's not comfortable at all. So I got to leave it on my lap. It's very distracting when I'm driving. And if, if I move around at all, it might fall off my lap. So I'm trying to do a lot of things at once. And I'm not really good at that. <clears throat> but, like I said, the steering ratio is just too wide for Martinsville. Like, I, if, if I could tighten that up, I would definitely spend more time on it but you got to see the fact that it does seem like you're able to navigate around the garage area at least to a point because there are invisible walls but what i'm what i'm trying to say is that uh there is um the possibility in the future of being able to you know drive in and out of the garage and i want to have that full control I really do not like how this game just drops you onto the track at speed and then you just abruptly take over. And it's not smooth. It's very uh, clunky. So that's something that I want these guys to focus on fixing, you know, among other things. The mirrors are a huge problem. you got to have mirrors in the game. I don't want to bash too much, but yeah, that... You cannot. You cannot go on with without mirrors. It makes the, the racing really uh, just really risky. Like you, you don't have a, any firm confirmation of how close you are to cars or who's around you. And sometimes you think you're clear. You're not. The spotter is just, you know, he's not really any help at all. It, the spotter is at its best when you're only around one, maybe two cars. When you reach those clumps of cars that are packed together and you're trying to pass, that's when he gets Tourette's Syndrome. 
and it's not good. So, yeah, they got to fix all that. Uh, let's go. Where are we going to go? All right. I, I, I'm not, I don't think I'm ready to try any career stuff. I'm just trying to still get a feel for... All right, let me use the stupid controller. I'm still trying to get a feel for the, just the basics. So, all right. Um, all right. Let's try, all right, I think Michigan. Because Michigan's a pretty f simple track. It's, you know, I hate Daytona, Talladega. So I don't want to do that. Everybody's doing that. But Michigan is sort of a nice, big, wide open track where we could you know see what the deal is um let me see something just no i'll try that one again you you're, you're stuck with the stable setup setup as far as i know maybe something changed I'm alex hayden welcoming you to know. the irish hills of michigan this. for the fire keepers casino 400 this race is a huge priority for all of them i don't want to spoil uh, I want to show as little presentation as possible. I, I just, I don't, I don't want to spoil it. If you do plan on getting the game, uh, right? We got to look at this guy, but he's not helping us because he's not letting us change. Come on. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, you hit the. It's not really saving, so we're stuck. Let's just go out. See if uh, we can get some decent racing. I've seen some footage. I, I've seen Jeff Faviano's uh, video. There is some decent moments in the game. All right, coming to green here. All right, coming to green here. All right, let's, uh, yeah, so my right, second gear. Stay right. All right, keep it high. All right. Well, see, this Still time, Still next to you. I was able to be the one to shift. And now, yeah, I could feel a real tightness in the wheel. Compared to Martinsville, there was almost no uh, firmness to the steering. It just, like I said, the ratio was really high. Right. Uh, Bubba getting down on the apron there. But, uh, all right, let's see. What happens after a couple of laps? We definitely need more in the HUD, at least where you could toggle on and off. So you can know your fuel wear and all that stuff. I know in real life, these drivers, they don't know when to pit, like for fuel, they gotta be told. And it wouldn't be such a bad thing if everything else worked as intended. But this, it just feels like you need as much help as you can get here in terms of information. Even here, this is the only view with mirrors, and the mirrors are pretty useless. You can only see a, a piece of it. You need a virtual mirror that is at the center of the screen, at, up at the top, by the roof of the uh, cars. So let's see what happens after a while. And I picked this track because it's it's pretty wide and open, and it should provide enough room to see what the game feels like. The steering, I gotta say, one of the brighter spots in, so far with the game in the state that it's in. I I kind of like it. And the, the force feedback, I haven't seen anyone else mention anything, but it's not bad. If you get towards the apron, right, or you get your left side tires right on the uh, line, you get an, uh, a, a bit of a vibration. And I like that stuff. You know, those little details all add up, as I've always said. And yeah, you know, the, there is... Decent, a decent level of force feedback. Now, I'm not an expert. Uh, I haven't played games like R Factor or other simulators where people really focus on the physics and the uh, force feedback stuff 
So someone else who actually does spend a lot of time on that may look at that and say, uh, nah, this force feedback is it really isn't good. I, I'm only telling you from my point of view, I'm happy with it. I think it's pretty good. It gives you some really good fine details. But I'm, I am using a, a pretty expensive uh, direct drive wheel. Maybe, you know, if you're using uh, more of a traditional belt-driven wheel or even a gear-driven uh, wheel or one of the least, you know, lesser uh, expensive uh, type of wheels, maybe you don't get that kind of detail. That might be missing for you, so... But I, I, you know, I got no issue right now with the way the, that the car feels and, and, the, and the steering. The question is, can I catch these guys? I am wide open now. Like, for the first couple laps, I wasn't. And the AI doesn't look that bad right now. But I do want to see them... We should be starting to break up by now. Yeah, I'm I'm wide open, so and I don't I I think I'm taking. Okay, yeah, I feel like I'm catching now. But they're still kind of packed, and this is what reminds me of Talladega Daytona. In fact, what's strange is look at the look at them that right now. They're they're two single file lines and they do move around a bit but that's what I expect to see at Daytona Talladega but at Daytona Talladega even though they are bunched up they're three and four wide they're shuffling in and out of line and that's really not the way to get around Daytona and Talladega because if you if you get out of that pack oh yeah they're really checking up if you get out of that pack you're going to lose the draft Whoa, what happened there? Holy shit, I was doing fine. Yeah, it just got loose. I don't know if that was something with, with like arrow push and I, and I was putting more wheel into it and then it just caught. I didn't get any speeding penalty. Okay, so I can... I'm not just going to cut on the track. I'm going to do this like... The rules are supposed to be on, so I don't want to hear it. Yeah, the car feels right. You know, phys physics-wise, it's really not that bad. Man, I spun out there. So... Yeah, I did it. I didn't get lapped. I must have got lapped. I can't tell. Anyway, the car feels good. I, I have to say, it's it's not bad to race. And there are moments where you definitely have to be careful with the throttle and the and the wheel input because it's not gonna respond exactly like heat where you might be used to overdriving certain spots. It's like I caught that pack and sun suddenly like right here. Yeah, I just not here, the other Yeah, it was here. Um Yeah, the car the, the front tires just suddenly locked onto the track and it and it spun me out. I felt uh, just a little bit right there like the car was gonna fishtail. I, I kind of just barely got off the throttle. Man, I, I wish I was I could have stuck with that pack to see what would happen. But you, you can see they were all clumped up. And that, that to me is so far probably one of the biggest issues I have so far. They, they really... Just need to break up realistically and, and 
race each other one on one. They, they're all just like in this pack and Yeah, I I got to say I'm I'm impressed with the steering uh feedback and the input It's just, you know, you're kind of stuck with the settings. So some tracks, the, uh, the tightness is just unpredictable. Like at Martinsville, the, the wheel and everything was super uh, loose. Like, and there was just too much of a steering ratio. I, and, and it makes sense. I, if you think about it. The higher the ratio, the easier the wheel's gonna be to, to turn because you're not gonna get that that uh, that pushback. I don't know how what else to call it. And the tighter the ratio is, you know, the less input it takes to make the, the car respond. But you also feel a lot more tightness in that wheel. I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say. But it it made sense. I just wish you. You had the option to dial back the steering ratio and make it tighter like uh, maybe 10 to 1 at a short track sometimes you know I, I, I shouldn't compare to iRacing but on iRacing at at a place like Martinsville you could run 8 to 1 or 10 to 1 steering and what it felt like it felt like 14 to 1 or something and that's not really what I what I want at Martinsville I don't know about anybody else you just really had to crank the wheel to get it to turn it doesn't take any effort to turn the wheel but it, it just a, a, a wider radius okay I'm way out this is not uh, just start over I don't want you guys sitting around just uh, falling asleep. All right. Let's uh, restart session. Okay. I just, I want to try to get some action this with the it. AI. Get focused. Okay, it started in cockpit this time. All right, second gear. When do we take over? Okay, right there. And see, it went from second to four. I, I believe I had to upshift the last time. And this time it just went from second gear and then popped into fourth. Yeah, I, I really don't like the, the restarts. Uh, or the main start, whatever. Just abruptly taking over. And now you can see the AI is a bit different than it was before, but they're still packed up here. It is the first lap, though. So. But there's already a big gap between the front pack and the second pack. I don't know why that happened. Maybe one of the AI cars kind of messed up that second pack. But there you go. Now they're like three wide sometimes. How to break that pack up. So when you do catch them, there's really not much for you to do other than kind of dive bomb underneath. And then you know, if you make contact, that's where I've seen most of the uh, wrecks happen. They're just too close. I mean, this looks like Daytona Talladega. They're so packed. This time, I'm able to keep up. You gotta watch out. If you over, if you put too much wheel input, it will spin out. Right here, there's a little. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. So, I honestly we think. We find out why I'm being told we're disqualified. What? All right, you know what? I wanted to start over again anyway, but that was bullshit.
Anyhow, what I was trying to say. What is this? Is this ending the weekend? Fucking ended my week. This is bullshit. Let's try something else. Different track, maybe. Um, yeah, they don't break apart. They're, they're kind of clumped up. But I will say this, right? For those of you who might think I'm being a, a bit too on, much on the negative side, I'm, I promise you guys, I, don't, I do not enjoy being so negative. I don't enjoy talking about all this stuff that's really bad, right? But it, it needs to happen. I, I try to be, you know, uh, I try to stay level-headed and, and, and just, you know, give you the good and the bad. But here we go. So the positives for me so far is the actual driving is not bad. The with a steering wheel, okay? I, I can't say anything about the hand controller, but it's not that bad. If you had more options to play with, like I said, the steering ratio, uh and and actually try different setups. We're we're stuck using the stable setup which is at most times too tight but another positive and it just just as i said it would happen it did it feels like when you when i caught that pack i i i caught an arrow push and i i had too much wheel and i needed to back out the throttle just a bit more and i didn't and it spun out pretty easily so I know that doesn't sound like fun for people, but it means you really do have to drive the car. It's not going to be like uh, the heat games. You, did, you didn't really experience that as far as I... I mean, it's been a long time since I played a heat game, but that's, I think, a, a positive, right? And it does go towards the physics side of things where people have been concerned for many years. I'm telling you guys, there is something good here. It's just buried. It's buried under a mess, um, uh, uh, tons of, you know, bugs and glitches and things that still just don't work. And if if they ever get to the point where they fix that stuff and clear clean that stuff up and and get everything what it where it needs to be, these guys they have something here. And my main goal, my main point, right? If you saw my video, and I, some people thought it was a rant video. I really wasn't that upset. I was more disappointed. And I, what I really wanted people to take away more than anything is the fact that I don't blame these developers, the guys that actually are doing the work and the coding. I don't blame them. It's not their fault. The, what they're able to do is not bad. It's just they're not being given enough time. And it's like anything else. You can give someone all the tools and all the supplies. But if you tell them you have to build this house in a week, it's impossible. Time is the most important thing. And the more time you give these guys to do what they need to do, the better the product's going to be. And, I, and I'm, I'm going to stand firm on that. Uh, I know a lot of people are, are kind of blaming the developers that they suck. These are the wrong guys. They don't know what they're doing. I've seen you know, people make all kinds of comments. I'm telling you guys, there's talent. You can see it. There are things you can, I mean, if you really know what you're looking at, there is a good game underneath all the, all of this mess. But if you don't give these guys the time to do what they need to do, this is what happens. My main gripe has nothing to do with the actual guys who sit there, program, and actually do the work. Give them time. They'll get it. It's just... It's not ready. And that's why the people I blame are the people above. The people who make those business decisions. You have to understand something's not ready. You don't release it. Now, I don't want to get any further ahead of myself. Um, 
they're working on stuff. They're going to re release more patches. I don't want to be negative, okay? Let's just, whatever happens, we'll take it as it comes. But right now, that's my main thing. And that's what I want people to understand. I'm not bashing the, the actual developers. And when I say developers, I'm not talking about the entire company. I'm talking about the guys who actually work on the game. There's something good here. And you could, there are moments where you can see things. It's just, this is what happens when you rush people. So, let's, let's go to Pocono. See if, uh, see what happens. It's a, it's a different track. Welcome Let's back see how the car feels. Field, the Pocono doubleheader here Try at the Tricky Triangle. This. I'm Alex Hayden bringing you all of the action from today's race. So. I'm not going to bother. Let's go right to the track. Uh, yeah, so you can't just manhandle the car. Like, there are moments where you'll lose it. Ready? take over. Right, it's in third. Got one left. All right, keep it high. Still I guess I'm assuming I'm going to have clear. to put it in fourth. Okay, and I did. I guess it leaves you in whatever gear it's... it's be careful. Let me, let me try to get used. This is my first time here. Almost everything I'm doing, I'm doing here for the first time. And, it, and like anything else, it does take a little getting used to. Off. I don't want to put too much gas. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not easy to drive it. I'm a, I'm a big fan of this track as well. I know a lot of people don't like it. I do like it. I do think that there's a lot of technique involved. There's three unique corners. You have to approach them differently. And, uh, yeah. In the dust already, but I just kind of... Oh. As soon as you let off the gas, there's a slight jerk to the right. I do think that that has something to do with the uh, steering uh, assist. I can't be 100% sure. Okay, the, the steering... Uh, when you come out and you're down the straight, yeah, it's a, there's a little bit of a dead zone. Not too much. There's a slight vibration. Whoa, I, I overdrove it, did I? Okay. It's going to be a while before I know that I can get what I need to get out of the uh, track. I overdrove that corner. If I get to give it more gas, I can tell it's going to spin. If I can't get all the way in it. Almost on the exit. Yeah, I'm kind of right now jerking the wheel left and right just a little bit. And that's the little small dead zone. As soon as you lift off the gas, the car does jerk to the, towards the wall a little bit. So you got to be careful if you're close to the wall. I'm sure it'll, it'll, it'll scrape. I do think they, they they went overboard with the shaky cam. It's not so bad there, but if you make contact with anything, that's where it goes haywire. I forgot what right lap times here. Whatever they are, I'm way, way behind. Yeah, I, I keep wanting to get my foot all the way to the floor, and I can't. So, I do think that's a positive. Oh, as soon as I get off the gas, I, I almost forgot. I almost got into the wall. And I'll, I'll tell you something, man. Every track feels unique. Like, I'm just talking about the feel of the car and, and the, the steering. The uh, Feed, the force feedback and the uh, just the overall feel of the car, and that's a positive. You know, it doesn't feel 
it does feel different at every track. The AI is also something I've noticed. There are tracks where they're kind of easier and other tracks where they'll leave you in the dust on the same settings. So it's hit and miss. That's not new either. Uh, we've seen that with the Technics. We've seen it with uh, Heat, the Heat games. It's just, it's tough to get the same level of competition at every track. Some tracks, the AI is just easier and others they're just a lot harder and i've i remember that with with every uh with the early especially the earlier games so nascar heat 4 you know i i gotta give it some credit man because they managed to get that ai to where it was really good i mean it wasn't perfect but it took them a few games And um, you know, I I don't I do ex I didn't expect them to get the AI perfect for the first game, but man, there's a lot of work left to be done. I don't even know where they are. They thought, they dusted me. But right now, I guess you know what? <laughs> we can't even look at this as a race. It's just like sort of practice by myself. Yeah, it feels good, man. Like, the steering, yeah, I can feel it. And you can't just, you know, really be too aggressive with the throttle. Try to be a bit more aggressive, but... Yeah, I'm just slow, man. It sucks watching, uh... Guys that can't fucking drive too well, but I'm trying. I could imagine with the, when the tires really wear, it's probably real challenging in some of these corners because even right now, it's it is uh, a bit sketchy in a good way, not in a bad way. Like, Yeah, you know, you, you you gotta wheel it a bit. It doesn't feel arcadey to me. Like, it's definitely not sim. I don't want people to think that's what I'm saying, but it's not arcadey, man. And I I think if they could disable that fucking hearing uh, assist and man. It could fix a few things, man. I think people it, it would enjoy the actual driving of the car. One thing I, I also... Uh, I got in touch with D-Box, which is the... Uh, company that uh, makes the motion for the uh, my motion sim I tweeted them and I written to them and I wanted to know if they had any plans on adding this to their playlist you know of games with uh, motion support and they did say that it was in the plans that's all they said so I know right now it probably doesn't matter it's it's I think it's too early like it probably would be a mess anyway. Uh, until they get this game to where it needs to be, you know, I'm not sure it matters. But I, I definitely want that motion. And I would like to know that in the future, we probably will get that. They do support every F1 game going back to 2010. But the only NASCAR experience I get with full motion is iRacing and I would love to be able to play a NASCAR video game with full motion support on, the, on my D-Box so I've been in touch with them I've tried to get, get them in, into uh, well they said they were they, it, that it's in the plan so. okay so I'm not making any 
and a fucking slow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, I hit the controller. Yeah, I lost it. Jeez. Alright, yeah. Like I said, man, you're not gonna just be able to. Let me see if I could. Alright, so this, this is a throwaway. I'm not gonna keep going, but what I wanna see is. Uh, I could get in the pit in the uh, garage area again. But yeah, I lost it there. Like I said, man, you do have to be careful with your throttle input and, and the wheel. How much wheel you put into it. And I happen to think that's a good thing. It's a positive. Can I please? Okay. Now you got to play with the paddles a bit to get it into reverse. You got to fix that. Keep going backwards. We're gonna get disqualified. Shut up. You keep going backwards. We're gonna get disqualified. Is there an opening? They're disqualifying us. Oh We're fuck you! Scored. I wanted to see if I could get into the garage area. All right. Doesn't matter. Uh, I am <laughs> not fast enough. Maybe I should. Let me try one more time. If 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 I lose pace with the uh, if I lose pace with with the AI, I'll I'll back out. I'll go to another track. Man, you guys must be scratching your heads. Is this guy really that bad? Welcome yeah, maybe I am. Welcome back to two of the Pocono doubleheader here at the Tricky <clears throat> Triangle. I'm Alex Hayden, bringing you all of the action from today's Try race. This time. It I remember it starts in third and then you gotta put it in. Oh, see, now it's shifted into fourth on its own. Yep, it's like this is what I'm saying that you never see the same thing twice. There's always something different. Okay. This time, uh, a minute. Yeah, this controller that's just sitting on my lap is so distracting. Come on, man. Don't pull away. Now, there's another po positive. I, I haven't really seen it yet, and I, I haven't really paid attention to any online, right? I don't know if anybody's even had online uh, races yet, but the, the, the feel of these cars, the physics, and with a wheel, uh, I honestly think that the online racing has a chance to be really good. If, I mean, yeah, if, if we iron out the, the issues, but, you know, the, the bigger issues here offline is the AI. When you're racing online, you know, the AI is out of the picture. So it's really, every guy's going to have control of his own car. And I think it's pretty good. So I'm not saying the online is going to be good because online is always going to be what it is. But in terms of the gameplay mechanics and racing other people, I don't know. It's... It, it might, it might have some potential there. Of course, you need private lobbies and all that, but we've already talked about that. I'm just talking about the gameplay mechanics. And, you know, the AI is not part of the mix online. It's just online. And I think if you get a room of people who actually try... <laughs> You know they're not there to troll you may have some good racing or at least for what we're used to in the heat games yeah I'm getting stopped again let's uh I think there's another another spot on the track where I'm gonna try this one more time And uh, then I'll back out. 
we get disqualified or whatever. Yeah, I'm not. I can't keep up with the with the AI, and I don't want to put it on an easier setting yet. So, oh no, they got cones there. Yeah, we'll probably hit an invisible. Wall. Yep, there it is. Other way. Shut up. Wait. How can I look over there? Oh, can't They're see. disqualifying us. Oh, We're not being man. scored. All right. We're out of here. All right. Let's see. Andrews. Let's go somewhere else. We'll try uh, something else. Oh. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. Right, let's... Richmond? What do you guys think? Right. I'm trying not to do too many um, mile and a half tracks, because I don't want you guys to be like, oh, that's all he cares about. Welcome to Richmond Raceway for the Toyota right. Owners 400. I'm Alex Hayden, and we're getting ready to bring you a night of intense short track racing. Right, let's see how the steering is here. I'm not going to bother trying to put a different setup because it just doesn't work. This guy has like OCD. He has to bang on the hood of the car every time. All right, second gear, third gear, fourth. It's already in front of me. Whoa, 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 whoa! Man. If you're not careful, it will spin on you. It wanted to spin there. Wow, I gotta be careful. Yeah, this... The short tracks... They have too wide of a steering ratio. Like, like Martinsville, you really gotta turn the wheel. And it's almost like the opposite of what it should be. It should have a tight ratio here because it's a short track. And I don't like having to crank the wheel that much. Now it's a, it is a preference thing, right? Some people like that. But I like, you know, having, not having to too much wheel input. I don't want to be cranking the wheel 90 degrees. This is not bad. I, I actually like this. You gotta be real easy. Like, don't over break. Don't. Oh, it's, it's. Wow. It's pretty technical. I mean, every little thing you do, you, you, you like, feel that the car's responding like it should again like if i had a tighter steering it would be more it would be better for me personally this is not bad and i'm i'm just doing easy in easy out i'm not overdriving i'm not i don't even get oh i don't get fully on the gas so like right there i'm out the gas slight Break. All clear. Not too hard. Right. Let the car catch. Right. right here is a tight All turn. And now I'm on it. Pull ass. Off. Flight brake. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Okay. Oh. Stay Trying left. to be clean here, man. I don't want to be kicking the AI out All the way. Clear. Here we go. Three All wide. Clear. No. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Back down a little bit. Not in a rush. All right, we're actually getting some racing finally. Oh, man. Yeah, it's that wide steering car. It kind of wobbles a bit. Like the, the steering just doesn't feel tight enough for me. It's, it's 
easy to turn the wheel, but it but you got to turn turn it a lot more. Again, it feels like 14 to 1 ratio. Look, look those guys are getting into it. Truex and uh Three wide, you got two up top. Three wide, you got two up top. Reese. Two on the outside. You're three. Two on the outside. You're three. Okay, three easy. Wide. No, no. Oh, come on. Disqual oh, my God. You know what? I think the disqualification is good because what was I going to do at that point? Car's trash. Man, that was good racing. Yeah, you know, it's like when you get three wide, they're going to hook you. Oh, oh, I should have. Stop. I was gonna do a replay real quick. We're gonna do this again. We're gonna do it again. I actually like that. That was good racing. Like, I like all Welcome the input. Welcome to Raceway for the Toyota Owners 400. Of the car. I'm Alex Hayden, and we're getting ready to bring you but a nice, it's not easy. short track racing. And that's in the heart of suburban Richmond. What I ex what I expected, right? With these games, like, is key. I don't so want, want it to be too arcade. Best hold their car on the edge of it's not sim, but shit, this is not bad. This is like a in between. So you know. For the most part, yeah, we're experiencing some of these still issues and stuff. We're already, I don't want to beat it to death. But uh, I'm actually enjoying driving the car. Yeah, OCD, buddy. Go get that check. Get ready. Back up the cockpit mode. And yeah, third gear, fourth gear. All right. Stay right. And now I take over. Low. Clear, clear. clear. One left. Don't oh, lie to me and tell me I'm clear when I'm not. Okay. There's Mr. Uh, Jet Black Got Oil right. Slick Hair. Not fooling Got anybody right. with that, buddy. Three wide, Whoa. two outside. Three wide, you got two up top, two on the outside. You're three, 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 Easy. three, three, two, two, three, three, two, three wide, you got two up top. Three Come wide, on! Ah, oh, jeez. Nope, nope. No, no, not doing that again. Restart. Oh God! Every time I try to make a pass and we're three wide, I get hooked. I really gotta keep the car lower. He's looking at me like, "Yeah, it's gonna happen again." You know what? Here we go. Right camera right. Stay right. I'm gonna lay back. Clear all around. We're not in a rush. Oh, car right. Yeah, this is. Wow, they're really having problems here. Uh, come on, man! I keep forgetting to look at the replay. Don't knock on the hood. I don't like that. Get ready. We're coming to green. One left. I'm gonna lay back. Clear, clear, clear. There. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, there they go. They're having a hard time. Look, they're three wide. This is... Yeah, they got to clean that up. These, this AI, that's another thing, man. They, they're constantly going three and four wide. Into corners. I mean, it's... That's why these cars have to spread out sooner. You can't have that lap after lap. These guys beating and banging three and four wide. It's that's not realistic. They'd all lose their jobs if they're just doing that every week, wrecking cars. All right, easy, easy, easy. Take your time. Yeah, the the car on the bottom washes up a bit. 
Man, he be beating and banging. Whoa. Man, I gotta be careful. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, don't. Okay. Jeez. Yeah, it's, uh, most of the tracks, the car's too tight. It's a bit loose here. Whoa. Get back into it. I think we can get a rhythm at some point. Now you definitely cannot overdrive here. You gotta be patient, let the car catch, and then get on it. Easy out, light brake, let it catch. You gotta crank the wheel so much here that if you get on the gas too just a, even a, a bit too soon, right? It just wants to swing around. So you gotta be careful. That's why I don't I don't really like that wide steering ratio. I like it where I just have to move the wheel just a little bit to get the car to go where I want it to. That's not for everybody. A lot of times it makes it easier for people to make mistakes. And that's 66 cars. He's having a hard time. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's easy. Less is more, less is more. I gotta keep reminding myself. Nice and easy. Easy, easy, easy. Whoa, whoa, there he is. And gonna have a, a lot of guys waiting for him after the race. Rewind. Two We're getting hooked. Don't hook me. Don't hook me. Don't hook me. Don't hook me. I'm right down on the line. This 66. You idiot. That's something else I want in the game. I want it at some point where you can actually confront drivers after the race and punch them. Maybe have a mini uh, fight game. Well, you could just punch the guy and break his nose and you could see blood dripping down his face. You could make a whole thing out of it. Add it to the presentation. Car right. Clear all around. The announcers could talk about it pre-race in the next race, like, hey, and then show clips of it. You want to... He, he's just... Two he, two oh, on no, the no, no, no. Two on the outside. Oh, this You're guy's three. Dick. Three wide. You got two up top. Two on the outside. You're three. Car right. All clear. Believe it or not, I'm enjoying this. This is actually not bad. But man, it's just the car's really sensitive. And with some slight adjustments. And uh, maybe a, a just a uh, smaller steering ratio. Got one right. It would be that much right. better. I just don't like having to move right. the wheel not as much right. as I. Oh no 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 no! Clear, clear, clear. Oh man, I hit the fucking controller by accident. Yeah, it's on my lap, and I turned the wheel so much that my right hand hit the fucking controller that's on my lap. This is not comfortable, man. I I'm not used to driving like this, you know, with all this shit going on. And there's no reason that they can't get the mouse to do everything. Like all the off track stuff and and get get you to be able to map whoa 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 whoa. Yeah, it gets loose. If you try to take that you try to diamond the corner, it would, I don't know. Like I would actually make this the setup slightly tighter for this track. It is a bit on the loose side. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, no. Oh. Well, it corrected itself to the rear end of the wall. Come on. What are you doing? I got to just be smoother. <clears throat> I mean, some of this is my fault. I'm just not... I'm driving like an idiot. Oh, my God, no. Man, I didn't... 
Yeah, it's not it's not hard to spin this out. Oh man! Yeah, it's it's easy to spin this out, man. It is easy. Yeah, I mean that's not. I can't really complain about that. It's just you got to learn to drive the car a little more easy, in and out the throttle, and yeah, if you can make some fucking adjustment to the car, you could get it a bit more stable. It's actually. The first track that I found where the setup isn't, the stable setup is, is, is not too tight. Oh boy, let's see if, what's the deal here? Yeah, it's on stable, so let me see if that helps. It's not, nah, can't save it. Please fix that, guys. Oh my god. We'll try one more. And then I'm, well, I'll cut it. Cut the video at that point because I don't want to keep you guys around all day. Third, fourth gear. Alright, easy, 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 easy. So, I don't want to diamond the car too much because that's where it gets loose. I want to try to maybe keep my entry from the center to the bottom. Which usually makes it tighter like that. Just let the car rotate. Don't worry about getting back on the... On the I'm not even on the gas. Three, Holy three shit. Wide. You got two up top, three wide, two out top. Yeah, easy. Go off. Got one right. Stay left. Man, clear, clear. Be really Stay left. smooth with this. Right. All clear. Which is good. Usually guys are... Whoa. They're used to manhandling these cars and just running over the AI. And I think a lot of times people get good results because they're just able to hunt the AI out of the way. I don't like that. I like it where it's more realistic. You try to just avoid all contact and, you know, you drive it like it's real. It's hard to do with the way things are right now, but it's, this is actually enjoyable. It's just when you get side by side, it's... That's where you're taking your chances. But you got to get side by side to pass, so you're just, it's almost like it's inevitably going to happen. Okay, I'm off the pass. I'm two on the outside. Here's Look at three. that. Three. three wide. You got two up top. Three wide. Two yeah, we got to make that three pass. Wide. You got two up top. Okay, okay, two on the outside. Get... No, 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 no. Don't hook me. Don't hook me. Don't hook me. Two on the outside. Yeah, I could feel him right there. Two on the outside. You're three. Uh, three wide. You got two up top. All right. That's it. Now, in spite of that finish, it, there, this is what I'm trying to tell you guys. There is something here, man. It's something that's positive. It's just so unfortunate. It's buried. It's buried with so many small issues and the inability to make these changes. Like with the setup and, and the steering ratio. Um... And if I could tighten that up and, and maybe tighten the car just a bit, um, I'm sure I, I could have done a lot better. And the AI, man, this is too much three, four wide racing. It's it's crazy. And they're just in these bunches that need to break up. So anyhow, if anybody at Motorsport Games is watching, I really hope you guys uh, take the criticism with the intent that that I have for it which is we just want the game you know we want things to get better I'm trying to help criticism is never fun and uh, you know we're, we're trying to, to I'm trying my best to be fair as I always try to be so I do see a lot of positives I do see something here Anybody that tells you that this is total garbage and not salvageable is not being honest. There's good stuff here. But as I've said before, the number one problem is time. And if the, the people making the decisions do not give these guys the time they need, this is what you're going to get. And it's going to happen every time. And they're not learning from the past. We've seen this with, with Heat Evolution. We saw it with 
Eutechnics, it always feels like you don't even get the basics right until a couple games in. But you got to sacrifice, especially the first game. This game, in my opinion, is just not ready. And I personally would have, I would have just geared this game around the next gen car. They had a lot of opportunities there to really wait until 2022. Whether it's in the spring or early summer. To release this game with the next gen car. Even if that's all that was in it. But you would have had a lot more time to iron out these issues. Uh, I don't want to be. I know a lot of people don't want to hear that the negativity. I don't think I'm being overly critical. I'm just being realistic. I'm the, I just don't have a lot of faith. That these patches are going to magically fix most of this stuff. I do think they'll, they're going to be able to fix a few things here and there. I don't know man. So. I'll keep messing with the game. I'll post more when I get a chance. And uh, let's see, I got a I got a race coming up on iRacing at three o'clock. So maybe later tonight I'll post something else. Uh, I hope you guys got something out of this. Uh, later, let me know what your thoughts are. All right. <laughs>